Well, smack a gob, everybody. Hey, we got a donated episode from Mr. Andrew King. And Andrew wanted me to put Spinal Tap. No, actually, it's the Black Album, but, you know, I mean, you can't make that out, can you? Probably you can. I don't know. Metallica's, um, Meta well, it's technically just called Metallica. Versus Countdown to Extinction from Megadeth. Both these albums... I was very disappointed in, though I do like the Megadeth one more. It does have some great moments on it. This one, I mean, like a lot of people that were into Metallica, I mean, I mean, going back, I mean, I went back even pre-Kill Em All, but you know, I mean, I was so into Kill Em All, Ride the Light and Master of Puppets, and then, I mean... Uh, Injustice for All stayed thrashy to an extent, but I don't know. I, I just don't think it was as strong as the albums before. But this one, I mean, I thought was really bad. But as the years gone on, I, I respect this album a little more than I used to. Just a little more. Not much more, but a little more. Uh, this one, it was kind of like, all right. Now we're, we're on the heels of Metallica. Rust in Peace did really well. So let's go a little more commercial so we can catch up to them. I'll never forget my friend. I hope he's still alive, man. I haven't heard from him forever. His name was Paul Gay. Seriously, that was his name, Paul Gay. Um, he hated Metallica, and he was so into Megadeth. And then when this came out, he called me that day. When it first came out, he listened to it, he called me up and goes, That's it. Metallica's done. Megadeth did it. Watch. This album's going to destroy Metallica. I wonder where he is, man. That's one guy that, you know, I, I, I think he may have passed away. Because, um, who's the healthiest guy? When I first met him, he was homeless. And, um, you know, he homeless, but a big boy, you know. He managed to get food somehow, but, you know, he didn't have the greatest health even back then. So, and I'm talking about the last time I saw that guy, probably 94 or something. Last thing I heard that he was, well, he called me. He was living in Texas and working at Denny's. And he got married, had a kid, and then I never heard from him after that. He changed his number when I called him. <clears throat> I'm off the topic, ain't I? Anyway, I just got a text. I wonder if that was him. Wouldn't that be freaky? But it can't be. I have a different phone number now. I'm talking too much, ain't I? All right, so there is an extra track on here from here, uh, Andrew. <clears throat> but I grabbed this. This is a Symphony of Destruction um, single, which has bonus tracks, which is Breaking Point and Go to Hell, but I'm just going to add one of them. Stick around to find out which one of those two I add to match the amount of tracks that are on the Black Album. All right. <clears throat> Enter Sandman versus Skin on My Teeth. Yeah, I know it's trendy to say, not interesting, man, because it's popular. And I'm going to be trendy because Skin of My Teeth is an awesome track, and I think it's better than Enter Sandman. I like those apples. All right, Sad But True versus Symphony of Destruction. I'm going with Metallica. You know, I didn't like Sad But True back then, and still I'm not like a, the biggest fan of Sad But True. But I used to warm up to that song uh, before band practice. And when I recorded my last album, I would drive and listen and sing to that tune because it, it warmed up the vocals. All right, then we got Holier Than Thou versus Architect of Our Aggression. <clears throat> I'm going with Metallica now. I will say, I don't know, man. Architect of Aggression, I think it just lost, got lost in translation because that demo is so much better and I would put it above Holier Than Now, but I don't know. It just didn't translate well in the album. 
All right, next we got The Unforgiven versus Foreclosure of a Dream. I don't like either. I really don't. And I thought Foreclosure of a Dream was a lame second single. Like, um, Symphony Destruction did well as the first single. But then they, they put this video out. Oh, oh, look, they're serious, you know. It, it, it was just too, I don't know, contrived. The Unforgiven, I just don't like that song. But I'm going to give it to The Unforgiven. I really don't like it, though. But I like it more than, it sucks less, let me put it that way. All right, then we got, <clears throat> I hate Wherever I May Roam. I, I don't even know what it's going against, but I doubt it's going to win. That's the song I hate the most on. It's one of the, man, it used to drive me nuts back then when I ever I heard it, because it was all over the place. Because this was huge. It was all over MTV and the radio. and every, When I went to concerts, I would hear it on the loudspeaker, man. When I go to Dennis's office, it was playing there too. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I was high on morphine. All right, so, um, all right, what's that going against? Uh, sweating Bullets. I think Sweating Bullets. Definitely giving that to Megadeth. <clears throat> all right, uh, Don't Tread on Me. You know, I actually had to put this on today because I, to tell you, Don't Tread on Me and a couple other songs, I was like, I don't remember how they went. Because I never play this. Though I know all these other ones because they were played to death on a, on a radio or MTV. Well, Don't Tread on Me is going against This Was My Life. Megadeth. Alright, I don't know if we're at the halfway mark. I really don't. And it's a tie, by the way. Three to three. So let's pick an album. Let's go right here. Talk about it for a second and get into side two. Oh, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Wings uh, at the speed of sound. Uh, what do I like on here? Hey, let them in. I like for nostalgic reasons. Beware My Love is awesome. And in case you don't know, there is a version of Beware My Love with John Bonham on drums, Led Zeppelin, which I believe you can hear it on some deluxe edition of this. Uh, silly Love Songs I love a lot because of nostalgic reasons. But, oh man, Cook, Cook of the House, I didn't like. Uh, that song I really disliked. But I still think it's better than Wherever I May Roam. All right, eh, it's halfway decent album. Not that great. All right. Through the Never. Yeah, I dig that one. See, that one I didn't really like before, but I've grown to like it. Versus Countdown Extension again. Oh, and that's another thing. I, I, I'm going to give that to Metallica. That's another thing Paul told me on the phone. When uh, when this came out, explaining why it was going to eclipse Metallica is because he was like, Count That Extinction, that song is about, you know, animal abuse and stuff like that, and chicks dig animals. Oh, boy. Paul, I, wish, I hope you're still alive, buddy. <clears throat> be great if you'd be watching me now. Be awesome. Leave a comment if you are, because I really, I, I, man, I hope you're alive. All right, Nothing Else Matters. I hate that song. It just bores me. Uh, versus High Speed Dirt. I love that song. It excites me. Another one for Megadeth. All right. Uh, of Wolf and Man. I did that one. That was okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Uh, Wolf and Man versus Psychotron. Psychotron! I'm giving that to Megadeth. I love Psychotron. Alright, The God That Failed. That's the best song on here, in my opinion. That's an awesome tune. I love it. Versus Captive Honor. Hoo. And that's my favorite. Hey, look at that. It's my favorite off this album against my favorite off the guy that failed is so underrated, it's sickening. I love that song, but your soul better belong to Jesus because your ass belongs to me. I'm giving, definitely giving that to Megadeth. When I met Dave, I met Dave Mustaine. I met all of Megadeth when this album was number two on the charts. 
at their most popular height, they were at the Fountain Blue Hotel. I happened to know they were there. I lived near the Fountain Blue, and I said it to them. You know, it was a fairly new album. And I said, Dave, my favorite song is Captive Honor. And he's like, it's your favorite, huh? Did you do time? I was like, no. <laughs> he thought I was in jail, and that's why it's my favorite. Um, Captive Honor. What, what, oh, I'm giving that to Captive Honor. I think I already gave it. If not, then, you know, when I do the count, at the end, I'm probably going to be wrong. All right, then My Friend of Misery is Boring versus, oh, man, I've never met anybody, anybody that dislikes ashes in my mouth, in your mouth. I dislike it. Now, I will say it's musically closer to Rust in Peace than anything off this album. Because musically, it's pretty kick-ass. But I can't stand that. Where did we go from here? I can't stand that verse. But it's still better than My Friend of Misery. All right, now I'm going with the bonus track on the Megadeth, which is going against The Struggle Within. Now, I could either pick Breaking Point or Go to Hell. Now, I like Go to Hell way more than Breaking Point. I, I absolutely love Go to Hell. It's such a great song. But I'm going to put it against Breaking Point because I think it's unfair to put it against Go to Hell. So, The Struggle Within versus Breaking Point, I pick Breaking Point. All right there, Andrew. So, wow. You see, Metallica was doing pretty good in the beginning because it got four. But then Megadeth just took over with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It got double the amount, but this sold like quadruple the amount of this album, even till today. I believe I've read somewhere that this album still sells a lot yearly. It's like one of the most highest selling albums of all time. And uh, this one, I think today, it uh, the amount it sells it it uh, would equate to Formica. So Andrew King, thank you so much for the donation, and uh, if you like to donate, uh, I got a PayPal in the description below, and please donate to my channel. I mean, please. Well, if you want to donate, that'd be great. But subscribe to my channel. And bang, bang, pizza skull, that little notification bell. Again, Andrew King. You are king, my friend. Thank you. And thank you all for watching right now. So, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm so naughty. Me love you long time. Me so corny.